Hey there, Bob Deeks with RDC Fine Homes uh, up here in beautiful Whistler, British Columbia. Uh, been a while since we've been to uh, our Net Zero Ready project up here in Bear Creek. I uh, thought we'd come by today and have a quick look at the progress. Uh, plumbers and electricians uh, and the heating and ventilation guys are uh, getting close to being done. So we can go inside and have a look at what they're doing. Uh, we've done a few uh, additional concrete pours uh, for the elevator shaft and some retaining over the green roof there so we can have a quick look at that and just a general walkthrough and update uh, on this exciting project that is built into the side of the mountain here. So uh, up on the uh, lower floor of the upper level looking down on what will be the green roof uh, over top of the suite in the garage the concrete wall you can see there with the uh, forms on it uh, will help retain uh, the soils between uh, the main house here uh, and uh, the green roof sitting over top of the garage. We're going to use uh, some void form in there to fill up most of the space and then uh, there'll be soils and planting on top to make it look like uh, the whole bottom floor is essentially built into the hillside. Uh, just go on inside, uh, back framing uh, significantly complete here. You can see supplies for uh, water lines and plumbing. Uh, you can see the plumbing rough-ins there in the wall. Uh, the silver pipe you see there is uh, the start of the rough-ins for the heat recovery ventilator or the fresh air delivery system. You can see uh, back framing done here on our ICF walls. Uh, and then the pipe and the ceiling there, uh, that is for our Detson uh, smart duct uh, heating and cooling system. Uh, you can see the electricians uh, are making uh, good progress. That uh, rock sole that you see in the background there, that's uh, going to go um, in between the framing here on our insulated concrete forms uh, to act as uh, some extra insulation and some fire stopping. Uh, you can see uh, yeah, we were able to get our hands on enough rock sole. I understand uh, that is in a bit of short supply. Uh, that's everything nice and neat and tidy. Uh, this will be uh, mechanical room space down here, so you can see all the wires getting pulled down in here for the electrical panel eventually. And of course, uh, terminations um, on the uh, HVAC ducting there, gas lines coming in. Let's uh, quickly walk around and uh, we'll go and have a quick look upstairs. So let's uh, just take a quick walk up. These are the temporary stairs that are getting us up to uh, the main kitchen, living, dining room elevation. See the drop ceiling there with the mechanicals uh, hidden inside that. Coming up, uh, wiring well underway. Uh, sun just coming out here. Uh, we've had uh, pretty amazing April weather for the guys working outside. A little bit of uh, sun peeking through and uh, if the clouds weren't there, you know, this is a spectacular view uh, south down uh, towards Garibaldi and uh, Squamish. You can see uh, back framing well, uh, well underway here and nearly completion. Uh, rough ins up there for the Detson system again. The wall you're looking at there will be, uh, that'll be the kitchen, dining room in front, uh, fireplace enclosure for a nice big gas fireplace, and uh, then through into the master bedroom uh, component. Uh, bedroom here, big window that uh, will get us a great look at the view uh, south down through the valley. And then of course, uh, bathroom uh, in behind here. We have left uh, the slab out there so that uh, the big walk-in shower can properly get sloped um, and all of that cool stuff. Plumbing rough-ins uh, nearing completion. We uh, are looking forward to our windows uh, towards the end of the month of May, just the end of April right now, so another four weeks or so, and uh, we should be a lockup and uh, getting ready for our uh, aero barrier system to come in and make the building airtight. So stay tuned uh, for some future updates, and I really appreciate you watching along, and if you want to see more updates uh, on the YouTube channel, then please subscribe. And of course, uh, all the posts go to Facebook and Instagram, so you can follow us along there too. Thanks very much.